17 minutes after 8. She's got her tool belt on. Astrid, how is it going up in the northwest part of the city as you take on your garage renovation? <laughs> well, this is Dan King, and he's certainly not the king of renovating. He's working on his garage right now with a lot of help. We have uh, Ryan here, Ryan Shoemaker with 1 800 Drywall. They deliver drywall to your home, they supply the drywall, and they help out with some advice. Dan doesn't know what he's doing. What's the first thing you need to do when you decide to renovate your garage or your basement? <laughs> well, Dan phoned me yesterday and had a bunch of questions, which is great because uh, we were able to help him out. But as you can see right now, Dan's insulating the wall. So the first thing that Dan needed to find out was what kind of insulation to use. And to do that, he had to uh, measure the cavity depth to find out if he's using a 2x4 or 2x6 stud, which then dictates the thickness of the insulation he could use. The next thing he needed to do was find out what his stud spacing was, that determines the width of the insulation. And then, of course, then he needed to determine how much insulation he needed, which is a simple math of measuring length times height. That's your square footage. Okay, 1-800 drywall, I thought you would provide drywall. Do you pro we provide? We certainly do, okay. yeah. The okay. insulation is the first step. And once uh, Dan's done insulating and pulling this wall, we'll then uh, help him out on the drywall as well. So. What sort of things should we think about? Well, same thing. You need to know how much drywall you need, what your application is. Um, on this wall here, it's just a standard uh, half-inch standard wall. And when it got time to do a ceiling, we're using a <laughs> ceiling drywall. So Ceiling drywall, not easy to put up. No, you definitely want a friend for that. And uh, the, the whole key to any uh, project, I think, is having the right tools for the job. So we outfitted Dan with the tools that he needs as well. We got some uh, step ladders for him. And, and everything else he needs. So. Okay. Uh, and how about directions and all the mudding and stuff? <laughs> yeah, well, there's definitely how to tips on our website for some of that stuff, and our phone's always on. So if anybody needs help, then just give us a show and we, we help walk them through that. So. And the nice thing about 1 800 drywall is, um, you know, I don't have to get my drywall into the garage. That's easy. And I don't have to get the drywall into the basement. What sort of things do I need to think about for you to get the drywall into my basement? Well, you know, I guess the basement's kind of always a tricky one because in most cases we're going down the stairs. So people just need to uh, kind of keep access in mind. Typically, eight-foot sheets is, uh, is what you want to use. And it's not too often we can't get eight-foot sheets down the basement. So. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Ryan. You better get to it. Yeah. Uh, he needs you over there. He doesn't know what he's doing. I do. Kidding. Yeah, we know you do, and that's why we're, we've sent you out there. And you know, uh, Astrid, I'm reading, 1.7 million households renovated last year. So yes. our renovations are way up across the country. Calgary absolutely going with the trend. I know you put a new, uh, oh, you've got your work gloves. You put a new <laughs> roof on uh, your house. Heather's done some painting. I just did a bunch of deck. outdoor. Yeah, it's all done. Uh, so really, renovating is the way to go. We're watching our money. You have to do it. You're doing it yourself. So this morning, we really wanted to send you out there. Take us through the steps. So thank you. Thanks. And we'll come back to you in a few minutes. I expect to see drawing wall in your hair. The Government of Canada has proposed new tax cuts that may benefit you. As part of Canada's Economic Action Plan, tax cuts, like the Home Renovation Tax Credit, could save you up to $1,350 on renovations completed before next February. There are also Eco Energy Home Retrofit Grants and savings for first-time home buyers. So reach out and claim them. Learn more about Canada's Economic Action Plan at actionplan.gc.ca or call 1-800-O-CANADA. A message from the Government of Canada. Astrid's renovating today. She's the <laughs> foreman at a construction site in the northwest part of the city. I like that. You got it right, foreman, supervisor. I know what I'm doing. We've got these guys uh, insulating. Pretty soon we'll be hanging the vapor barrier, and then we'll be hanging the drywall less. Okay, You'll good to, watch to know. That. You sound totally like you know what you're doing. I'm so impressed this morning. <laughs> 831. She's even got those work clubs. Our Astrid. Mm -hmm. Well, you're the painting She's queen, mixed. so, you know. Oh, painting and drywalling. A little different. A little bit of a different story. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous weather, so you know what that means. That means it's time to uh, do some renovating in the garage or in the basement. We've got Cliff up here. He's hanging drywall. Hey, Cliff, get down here. <laughs> okay, so you're hanging drywall from top. Is that the easiest thing to do? Actually, that's insulation. Okay. <laughs> And, and it, it doesn't matter how you start, but I like to start at the top, work my way down, 
Uh, that way you stuff your bat in, you come to the bottom, you cut your piece to fit in, and away you go from there. Okay, so uh, I see you've done some here. What sort of things should I think about with my insulation? It looks like something I want to really squish in and stuff. Well, no, you don't really want to squish it in and stuff it in because uh, actually what uh, the, the quality that insulation has is the air that it traps. So you don't want to squish it in there. You want to have it fit in. You see how this fits in nice and evenly. You pull it out. You want it level with the studs. You don't want it stuffed in there. So I've got two studs working here, ha, ha, ha. But we've got two by four studs, so what kind of insulation? Well, that's R12. Okay. So that's crucial for somebody that's going to do a renovation. They have to know what size of insulation they need to get. But sometimes you have two by six studs. That's right. So then you need R20. Okay. But that's where you talk to 1-800-DRIVE. Uh, well, they're going to tell you everything you need to know. Okay. So, Cliff, I see you've got insulation on the top there and the bottom there, and you've got this middle piece kind of fitting in. Well, this is a nine-foot wall, and the insulation is manufactured in four-foot lengths. So that, that, that's why we started.